from the studio of South Asia Views. The International Court of Justice has asked Russia to immediately halt its military operation in Ukraine. In a 13 by 2 decision, which means 13 voters were in favor of the direction to Russia while two were against. Indian judge at the UN court, Justice Dalvir Bhandari, voted in favor of the majority against Russia. The Russian Federation, pending the final decision in the case, must immediately suspend the military operation, its commands in the territory of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, the order of the UN court said. The rulings of the International Court of Justice are binding that there have been cases where countries have ignored them as International Court of Justice has no direct means of enforcing its orders. In this regard, the court takes note of the 2 March 2022 resolution of the General Assembly of the United Nations, which inter alia, I quote, expresses grave concern at the reports of attacks on civilian facilities such as residences, schools and hospitals, and of civilian casualties including women, older persons, persons with disabilities and children, recognizes the, that the military operations of the Russian Federation inside the sovereign territory of Ukraine are on a scale that the international community has not seen in Europe in decades and that urgent action is needed to save this generation from the scourge of war, condemns the decision of the Russian Federation to increase the readiness of its forces, and expresses grave concern at the deteriorating humanitarian situation in and around Ukraine with an increasing number of internally displaced persons and refugees in need of humanitarian assistance." End of quotation. In light of these circumstances, the court concludes that the disregard of the right deemed plausible by the court could cause irreparable prejudice to this right and that there is urgency in the sense that there is a real and imminent risk that such prejudice will be caused before the court makes a final decision in this case. The court concludes on the basis of all of the above considerations that the conditions required by its statute for it to indicate provisional measures are met. It is therefore necessary, pending its final decision, for the court to indicate certain measures in order to protect the right of Ukraine that the court has found to be plausible. The court recalls that it has the power under its statute, when a request for provisional measures has been made, to indicate measures that are in whole or in part other than those requested. Article 75, paragraph 2 of the Rules of Court specifically refers to this power of the court. The court has already exercised this power on several occasions in the past. In the present case, having considered the terms of the provisional measures requested by Ukraine and the circumstances of the case, the court finds that the measures to be indicated need not be identical to those requested. The court considers that with regard to the situation described above, the Russian Federation must, pending the final decision in the case, suspend the military operations that it commenced on 24 February 2022 in the territory of Ukraine. From the studio of South Asia Views.